Okay. So now we're live? Well, you pasted. Oh, what'd you paste? Do you want to go in front of it? <laughs> okay, now we're live. Let's try getting on. From the oh, okay, yes. Yeah, I we're live. Now we're good. Now we're live. What we're is up? We are in and I'm in too. Happy Friday, everybody. I know you guys were worried because you've tried clicking the live stream and it's like, hey, this didn't work. But guess what? Now, look at everybody flooding in right now. Yes. yes. Thank you for now joining us. Working. Okay, let's announce. There's waves. Hold on. We got a wave. There's waves I'm going on. Back. Okay, you know, boys, I'm going to click. I'm going to click real quick. Don't mind me. Wave to you. Everybody get the wave. I can't go far. <laughs> you get a wave. You get a wave. Everybody, everybody gets, gets a wave. wave. Smash Bros. Oh, it's easy. coming. Yeah, it is. Do you ever so play hard. I did. Yeah. Right now. So Sometimes, good. Yeah. I remember I was talking to my science teacher. I'm like, hey, I have a question that science can't answer. Well, what's that? When the hell is Smash Bros coming to the Switch? Because he has one too, right? Well, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Four hours later, it comes out. I'm not saying out. I called it, but I did. <laughs> He's very excited. He's, you're very excited. You're very oh excited. my god, you should have heard. After you sent me that email, I was literally walking in the class, or walking out of the workout room, right? And I just looked at my friend. You have a friend? Just one. Did you lock him in? Yes. No. Maybe. No. That's fine. I'll God, go check. Us tonight. I'll go check. But Smash Bros is coming. I have a question for everybody who's a Smash Bros fan. You could have went that way. Be careful. Be Actually, careful, no, you have. Uh Smash Bros fans, is it Smash 4 or is it Smash 5? Is it a port of the Wii U version or is it a new game? There's been lots of lots of things happening right now. Lots of things happening, hey? But before, as you guys comment, I want to say hi to some people. You know, we got a lot of people coming up. Blake Fraps says, what's up, my brothers and waves? Hello. Wave to Abdu. Itagwiri, wave to Abel Batista, Charles Hicks, thank you for this, heart, heart, heart. Thank you for joining us. That's, that's enough. Blake Frapp, I'm Anthony Friend, I would say you're my acquaintance, not friend, we're not that formal, but yes. I guess I you are my acquaintance, thank you. But you know, Smash? You might have to go around yeah, again. Yeah, go around. Smash Bros is huge, I'm not surprised. I'm really not oh surprised. It's a Nintendo property. How are they not going to bring people? Were... And the fact, get this, okay, the Switch you can carry anywhere, right? So you and your friends on your Switches can be next to each other and smash each other, which is a lot more bold than I thought. <laughs> but at least buy each other dinner first before you. Smash just so everybody each other. knows, yeah. It's yeah. dinner first, then. I don't then think anybody want to have dinner smash before I smash them because after I smash them, they're not going to be able to walk for weeks because they'll be that disappointed. I beat the crap out of them. We're still talking about video games, right? I sure, Are we? Sure as hell hope so. <laughs> So we got Smash Bros. We got Black Panther 2, which is a go, obviously, and yeah. made all the money in the world. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Feige says that it's uh, oh, pretty damn close. I saw. Uh, they're in a. They have. They have a solid direction for Black Panther 2. So I'm. I'm. I'm curious. I really hope they bring Storm in from the X Men because Black Panther and Storm are a couple. But they already set up for a love relationship. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did with that other girl. With the other girl. With Nakia, sure, but. I don't know. I think it'd be sweet if they brought in Storm, because that would be very true to the comics. Seven M D I I I I says, "Who knew?" I ha! did. <laughs> I, did. I, I posted it. How's the scotch, by the way? It's actually really good. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah mine's like really clear. Is this normal? No. Yeah, it's it's actually vodka. Yeah, scotch with water. Hold the scotch. Yeah. <laughs> I can't hold scotch. It's a liquid. You're horrible. Wow. Uh, live action Joker. Still, Joaquin Phoenix is the front runner for DC. Nice. Now it's like. It's more so like it is confirmed, or they are Just like on the Batgirl works. Batgirl was confirmed. Yeah, but again, Batgirl had. There's ulterior motives with Batgirl. I'm still on the belief. And apparently, the Russo brothers have released why Thanos starts off in Wakanda. We're not going to say what it is because it could be spoilers. We don't want to get into that. But you can go online if it you're goes really to curious. Kill John Snow. Sure. <laughs> also, John Favreau, live action Star Wars series. For Disney streaming service. Wait, isn't that the guy who uh, played Chef? Yeah, it is. That's a good See, it's show. funny. You guys thought I was going to say he played that Happy Hogan guy, but no. I said Chef. Have you seen Chef? No. Dude, check it out. It's on Netflix. Really? It's, it. it's okay. really good. It's joking, Josh. If, if, you're Josh a, and... if you're a food person, it's got incredible food scenes in it, but it's just super heartwarming. It's good. Okay. I kind of want to buy a food truck. We should, we should buy, buy a food, food truck. truck. Yeah, we all should. No. Including myself. We can't even make a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah, man. I don't need to. Can't even make toast. I you burn water. How it's possible, but you burn water. That's impossible. It's liquid. No. no. Your face is a liquid. Burn water. But anyways, go on. Hey, Angel. Hey, Angel. Hey, Angel. 
Hey, Angel says hi. Hi. Hey, Angel. Hi. Or Angel P? No, it's it's actually hi, Yan. Hi, Angel P. Hi, Angel. But anyway, oh, hi, coming Angel from the Nintendo P. Direct, even more news happened. You kids are old. Or... I, am. I don't well, think that, that works as a full <laughs> yeah. Have you heard of Crash Bandicoot? Yes. Do you want to knock that down one? Like, do you want to take that bottom part off? It might screw up everything. Which one? This? The, the, that one, yeah. You think you can do it without wrecking something? Do not talk about my mother. A quarter mile at a time, Something's going to fall. Oh. Something's oh. going to fall. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You had one and job. we're good. See, yeah, that looks way, way better. Way better. They're like right here. Okay, and anyway, what was I saying? Crash Bandicoot, yes. Crash Bandicoot was owned by Sony. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are you saying with me? Okay. And they were rivals with Nintendo, correct. What would I tell you if Crash Bandicoot is going to the Nintendo Switch? Well, they were on Nintendo. They weren't. No, they Crash weren't. Bandicoot, wasn't it? I just said Crash. Sony. You nodded your head. You were lying to me. No, 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 no. It, it was Sony. It was Sony, but I thought like they developed the character and like put him on. Oh, no, you're right. It was PS1. That was the original. For the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I was thinking? It was Star Fox. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was a good game. Yeah. That was sorry. a good, that good was, game. Yeah, that was my bad. Okay. Blame it on the scotch. 7MDIII. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to call you 7 from now on. Seven says, "Do you guys think Avengers Four is going to be a sequel to Infinity War?" Yes. Yes, I do. No. Nope. I can bet. Avengers Four is. Not, I don't. Oh, sorry. A sequel. Yeah. It would have to be. It's Infinity War and then well, Avengers it's also Four. Yeah. They filmed it right after they filmed them. So I. Because it was supposed to be originally Infinity War Part One and Two. Yeah, it's not anymore. That was the title. It's not that. It's yeah. Avengers Four. Ernesto. I swear to God. Ernesto. Ernesto. They literally. No, that's not even the full name. Ernesto. Mendoza one one four three. Look, they make their Mendoza. Mendoza. <laughs> Upon further inspection, these appear to be loafers. <laughs> Says Saludar. <laughs> okay. Saludar. 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 Sure. That's it. But yes, Crash Bandicoot is coming to Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. Cool. That is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Not as cool as Smash Bros though, because Smash Bros is the best. I adore me some Smash game. Bros. You want to see the best reaction to Smash Bros? Go on my page, post it today. Best reaction to Smash Bros announcement. It's very graphic. <laughs> did you cry? Oh, no, you probably just swore a lot. That wasn't me. Oh. It wasn't me who did it. No, somebody did swore a lot though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very much so. Speaking of reaction, uh, we got a Veronica reaction that's doing really well. I did a Thor Ragnarok reaction by myself, Lone Soldier. Just laughing by myself, it's such a good movie. And I think we're gonna do a bunch more. It's gonna be like a new thing. So if you guys have movies you guys want us to react to, uh, the best would be if we're, like the three of us were doing a reaction to yeah. something. Let's not bring the camera into the movie theater. We can't. Uh, they can do it in Mexico, we can move the camera. Yes, because they're exactly the same. Yeah. Oh, I'm not racist like you, so I think so. <laughs> I, I think it's more geographically incorrect of you to say that. Seven says, I would hate if we didn't get a good ending to Infinity War and had to wait for Avengers 4. It might but be an Empire Strikes like Back. It might be an Empire Strikes Back type of situation where yeah. you end on like one of the biggest climax kind yeah, of thing. And cliffhangers. The, yeah. 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 But anyways, going back to Veronica, that Veronica? movie, very scary. Guess what? You haven't seen it yet. You don't know what it's about. Not gonna tell you what it's about, but a reaction and review will. Go check it out on the F word, YouTube, EF word, in my link, in my bio, there's a link. You click, you go. Was okay. it that scary, really? Like, no. I, I've heard... There was some parts, if if you're not... If you get squeamish with um, possessions... Yeah, which I do. So do I. Yeah. Then there'll be some parts where you're just kind of like... Okay. So I had a couple of those moments. moments. For you, I would highly recommend you just watch the reaction. Yeah. Because <laughs> you'll get the Because I'm a bit of a pansy thing. when it comes to horror movies. Yeah. And, and a lot of things, but mostly horror. And a lot of things. Speaking of reviews, though, they're not reviews. I guess, yeah, there are reviews coming this out. This is not apple juice, but... Reactions, they're also coming out. We are going to be doing, as I said, we're going to be doing some Marvel ones. We're going to be doing some WWE ones. I what think those ones will be really good. Some Dragon Ball ones. Actually, what you guys should do is do a pre and a post. Yes. So, like, a pre thing where you guys talk about what you think is going to happen, and then a post thing of what you think is going to happen. And I think a post post where we actually do the moves and the matches to each other. And then the post, post, post when we're in the hospital. Anyway, Abel Mesco Bartista had a great idea for us to do. A good okay. video idea. He says, you guys should play with the Ouija board. No. no. 
never. They sell those things. Like They've for been Stranger selling them things. forever. Ever, yeah. For like Stranger Things, like I saw at EV Games, I think there was a Stranger Things themed Ouija board. Sure, there's a Zelda yeah. themed chess board, which I really want. Man, this thing looks beautiful. There's a Game of Thrones Monopoly board. There's everything. Which I have. Themed. Yeah. It's going to be themed for sure. Exactly. No, we are not playing with no. a damn Ouija board. I do not need. You're just asking well, for trouble. I hope yeah. that's, I saw that earlier because I have a Ouija board on set. I don't. No, you do. I don't. I would kick you out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I couldn't kick up the demon, so. <laughs> you have to. Well, you have to bring the demon to have to kick also, it out. So. Yeah. No, but we'd have to actually perform the ritual for the demon to show up for it to stay. The demon's already here. Out of the three of us, we know who the human sacrifice would be, though. I'm going to watch your reaction and see who you guys point it at. <laughs> it's behind. But anyway, talk about more news. You have a whole list. Well, I, I ran through most of it. Uh, Black Panther 2. I'm pretty sure Ryan Coogler, the director that did Black Panther, is going to be on board. Did so. you do the cheetah? Oh. Hmm? Oh, you mean the Kristen Wiig thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Well, so, now we gave it away. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I've, I've already ran it through, so let us know what your thoughts are on, oh. on Black Panther, live-action Joker with Joaquin Phoenix, the Thanos stuff. I'm not, we're not going to say because we don't want to spoil it. John Favreau doing the live-action Star Wars uh, show for Disney's streaming service. And then Kristen Wiig, Kristen Wiig. Not Christian Bale. Confirmed for Wonder That's Woman 2 though. as Cheetah. So random. Yeah, but... This is the thing I I thought. First of all, she's got a very cat-like appearance to her, and the 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 only thing I'd be concerned about is the overall physicality of Cheetah because she's a cheetah and she moves very quick, a cheetah, like a an, cheetah. like an animal, like everything else. It is a bold, I think, like move. Yeah. But it's Patty Jenkins, and if she was able to make a good movie out of a relative unknown in Gal Gadot. Dog actress, I would say. Yeah, I, she's just always in like those comedic roles. So for me to see her in something different, like I like yeah. she's so typecast, I, I think Absolutely. it would be difficult for me to Absolutely. take her seriously, so to speak. But well, and that's what most people said. Everyone yeah. was freaking out, right? But everyone was freaking out with like, let's not forget, everyone's freaking ben out. Ben like Batman. Not no, not that. It was uh, Heath Ledger's Still Joker. Cool. People yeah. like we're talking. There was petitions being put in. There was death threats being sent out. And look what yeah. happened. Yeah. And and I feel bad for Joaquin Phoenix because everyone will always compare him to Heath Ledger. Yeah. And everyone freaked out because all they said, well, well he's the Brokeback Mountain guy. Which, it's actually a legit good movie. But yeah. I think it's kind of one of those situations. Brokeback Mountain? No, I haven't. Neither have I. Heath sure, Ledger good. compared to Kristen Wiig, though, is like, that's... It's apples to oranges. Like I, I don't, I don't see like that. Like Heath Ledger is such a talent. He was such a talent. Back. I'm not saying Kristen Wiig isn't, but like for him, he could do any genre. He could do, you know, comedy, mm -hmm. drama, whatever. I just like for me, and I hope I'm wrong, but I just I don't see her doing that great of a job. Again, and this goes yeah. back to just 2007, six, seven, or whatever, when everyone was freaking out about Heath yeah. Ledger because no one could see him in that. Um, because he did 10 Things I Hate About You Before, mm -hmm. he did a couple other movies, uh, Night's, Night's Tale, Tale, and that was a comedic role. Once spent a year Another one that nobody, like, could see an actor in a role was John Cena being Shazam, because nobody could see him before he was in the role, so if he was in that role, you still couldn't see him. Moving on, I don't know if you have more to say. I totally cut you off we, like a joke. We do have more to say, but... I'm just going to talk to Nick for yeah. a bit. I totally get what you mean, okay? And that's that's what I think most people are concerned about because yeah. she is synonymous with Saturday Night Live. She's synonymous with um, uh, with comedy in general. Yeah. So, And she's got that weird kind of hipster comedy thing. So I totally get it, but I'm kind of... Ever since the Heath Ledger thing, I'm kind of like... I hope I'm wrong. Okay. I hope yeah, I'm wrong. I'll but be yeah. okay. Because I was on board for Jared Leto to be Joker, and that did not work. Yeah. Mind you, I didn't like it from the picture that they released. Like, that first picture with, like, damaged on his forehead. It was kind of, like, a little too... That damaged your uh, opinion on him? Yeah. But, John Favreau doing Star Wars. My big question is, are we getting too much Star Wars? Yes. Well, we knew that was going to happen as yeah. soon as Disney bought them. Like, we knew that that was going to happen. I honestly do not care to see Solo. Me neither. I'm so looking forward to that. Are you? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, well, I am. I am for Lando because I'm a huge Childish Gambino yeah. fan. Yeah. And I think Lando's gonna outshine Aldern Elric, which I think is his name, in that. But yes, I'm yeah. with you too. I'm not. I'm just kind of over the Star Wars stuff. It's unnecessary. It's a lot. Yeah. Like you're just totally. You're taking something that was. 
we, we we've gone into like different like movies the prequels the whatever it is like yeah, the, what that they're doing and that's cool stick with those but like do we really need an origin story for everybody like i i don't well, care and my issue with it is at one point they wanted to do like i'm actually on board for an obi-wan kenobi standalone yeah i think with ewan mcgregor because he was the best part i think of, in, of the prequels yeah um i would be on board with that we don't need to see Han Solo win the Castle Run and win the Millennium Falcon from Lando. We also don't need a Boba Fett movie. No. At all. I would like to see the origin story of the Stormtrooper who didn't think those were the droids he was looking for. What happened to him? <laughs> he, He's probably in a bar, yeah, still drinking. I He totally messed everything up. So I'm just waving to whatever people are waving. What's up? Oh my god, you're thick. Okay, there's comments. Well, I'll read them. No, I was waiting for you guys. I'm Go ahead. Up again. 7MDI says, What's your opinion on Black Panther 1? The only one. Great. And uh, I don't understand why people say it's the best Marvel movie. I agree. It is not the best Marvel movie. I don't think it's See, the best Marvel movie. They say it's the best Marvel movie, as stated before, because it's so diverse, which is not a valid reason to say <laughs> it's your best Marvel movie, because it is not. No, no, no. I, I think it's a very good one. Yeah. I think it's one of. I think it's one of their best. To say one of their best... Yeah. Like, the problem with Marvel is that they pump a lot out. Yeah. And Thor never got cool. I've always liked Thor, but Thor never got cool until Ragnarok, which was a big difference. Yeah. Um, I thought that one was, like, if if you go between, like, Winter Soldier and, like, Thor Ragnarok, I think, like, those two are the best ones. See, and, and I'm, on, I'm on, on that because I like movies that are fun. Like ones yeah. that just like make me so happy. That's why you watch movies. It's the escape quality. Yeah. But I think after thinking about it a bunch of times, I think I still might put Winter Soldier on the top. Yeah. I think I still would. Ragnarok, I would put in like, I would put it above Guardians 1. I really like the first Guardians. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I might put it above, I put it above Doctor Strange, like out of the newer ones. Yeah. I think I'd put it above Black Panther, but Black Panther was... It was a very Winter Soldier-esque type of yeah. movie, right? Yeah. So it was deep. It was hard-hitting. It was one of those things that you had to think about. So, yeah, yeah that's a tough, a tough Bautista list. Bautista says, Black Panther is good, but it's a little overrated. Seven says, I left, or I felt the plot is a bit, bit empty. It was missing something. Was it? In Black Panther? Do you think it was missing the fact that Kilgrave was in... Or Kilgrave. I was watching Jessica Jones. Or I'm, I'm re-watching the first season. Uh, Killmonger wasn't in it a lot. That was my thing. But Darth Vader wasn't in A New Hope. No, and, and to be perfectly honest, I never thought... I never saw... No, the, I never saw Darth Vader as a massive threat until Empire Strikes Back. Because there was more scenes with him in there. Yeah. And... Even more so, uh, The Return of the Jedi. Even more so, I never saw him as a threat until Rogue One. And the reason is, is that last they made him 30 like seconds was like, this vicious. is Darth, like, this yeah. is why people fear him. Yeah. I don't think when they first did the Star Wars movies, like, back in the, like, late 70s, early 80s, for them to make him that dark yeah. was not something that was acceptable back then. So I think yeah. they had to tame him down. Whereas for now, when they brought him in, like you said, they for could. Rogue One, like now they're like, okay, we could totally make him darker and seem like, like the worst thing he did was where he was strangling that guy, it yes. seemed, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But uh, but at that point, the big thing was that the general that was there, um, why am I blanking on the general's name? Um, he was actually his boss, and you can tell him because he told him to stop. Yeah. So he had somebody above him. But the big thing was his, his first intro was all these stormtroopers with a white backdrop and then this figure right in the middle. So yeah. I'm not going to say he wasn't menacing because he had a great presence. Um, I just felt like they showed him being more of a badass and a threat outside of the force. Like he, It was more like implied badassness. Yeah. What were you saying, Anthony? Sorry. Yeah, you uh, were clapping. You, you were talking to your... Mm, so I'm just talking to the people that actually want to talk to me. Yeah, no big deal. But, 7MDI says, Winter Soldier, the first Avenger. Yeah. I don't know if you mean the he first means, Avengers. He means the... F oh. Or the first Avenger. I'm pretty sure he means the first Avengers. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he'd say Captain America, the first Avenger. Why? It's such a long name. Because he was the first Avenger. No, like they're yeah. just saying in, in the... In the but why do you say Avengers? No. I don't know. Yeah. You leave us with questions that you need to answer. Then he says, then Civil War. So he's, it might be the whole crap trilogy. It might be 
Hey man, when you look at it, that's no, a good that trilogy. Make sense. Why would the first Avenger be about Civil War? Or maybe he just likes it better. Yeah. Maybe he liked Red a, Skull. It's I called thought, an opinion. Yeah, people can have them. I don't respect yeah. them. Apparently. Wow. Uh, and this is why we're not talking to you. Julian Mitchell podcast. says in every third installment of MCU film, the main character's key item that oh my god, so white. That makes <laughs> them heroes is this thing is so white, it is just Oh, I thought you were talking about the guy. I'm no. like, what? Oh, it's too just, white so you can't read it. It's taken text. away from them. <laughs> Tony's arc reactor, yeah. Thor's hammer, yeah. Cap's shield, all gone in their third film. That's a good point. Was this all intentional or coincidence? I can't see how it would be a coincidence. I feel like that was very planned out. Well, well it that's a good question because did they plan out that hey by this point everyone lose their power? The arc reactor thing doesn't count because he was right back at it the next the next um, uh, in, in Ultron. Yeah. Uh, but I will say Cap Shield and Thor's hammer. He meant Avengers. He meant Avengers. Yeah. I think a lot of it has to do with these characters have to evolve from what they originally were, and not be identified by their. One like, shield, yeah. or just like Thor, when when Cord was like, it seems like you had a deep and intimate relationship with that hammer, and that losing it was comparable to <laughs> losing a loved one or something, right? Yeah. And he's like, well, it's a nice way of putting it. Like, but he realized he doesn't need it, and of course, in the movie, spoiler alert, there, he, he, Anthony Hopkins said, "You're not the god of hammers." Yeah. Right. So, for them to fully realize their own abilities to get into this biggest war of their life, they have to shed a lot of what they were and become a newer brand of hero. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. No, I totally agree. I think the, the fact that like, I think every character had that weapon that was kind of like their crutch, so to speak. Mm. And like, so now That's getting rid of it. that was, was their way of evolving them from, from this character, like this hero to a whole other level and, yep. and saying, you know. Well, and Tony again in the third one, which some people don't like the third one. I liked it. Yeah. I know people were pissed about the twist with the Mandarin. I thought it was funny. I thought it was good. And like people that aren't as inundated Whoa, man. in it. Whoa, man. Yeah. Oh, man. And Ben Kingsley was so good in it. And it was just, it was very Shane Black. And I like Shane Black movies. Yeah. But again, him giving up that arc reactor is that exact same thing, even though he brought it back. But he realized that he was a different person. And he realized it a lot in Ultron, even though he kind of, he kind of went back because he did create Ultron. Yeah. Anthony, Anthony, what do you think? What do you, what do you got? You haven't said much. Yeah. I actually have no idea what you guys were talking about. Oh. The question. Wow. Oh, well, the question wasn't done. You have to just keep on. Just letting you get, give me the second part right now. Okay. And now he says, adding on to that, what's the Avengers going to lose in their third movie? Everything. Their lives. <laughs> their Everything. One their of hope. them. It's going to be everyone's dead. Well, like, I, th I think what they're going to lose is... Like there's gonna be Peter a Parker. character who dies, and it's like they're gonna lose a, a part of themselves. So as as the Avengers, like as a team, yeah. if one of them does die, which we're we're insinuating it's gonna be Captain America. Honestly, I see Cap. Yeah. I see Iron Man. Okay, time out. That's a tough one. I'm not sure. I think he I will. think he will too, yeah. but I don't know. Time out. Okay, it's time for Anthony. You're not opinion. Zach Morris from Say by the Bell. You time can't for just Anthony's do a time opinion, out. Okay. Okay. I say everybody will die in that movie. But Doctor Strange will have a time loop and try and save them for a majority part of the movie. I really hope they don't do that. I hope Superman comes in and does like <laughs> in Superman 3 where he goes around the world backwards to stop time. <laughs> uh, he reverses time, doesn't stop it. Yeah, reverse. well, reverses time, you know. Well, at one point it stopped to reverse again. So. Yeah, exactly. You had to stop uh, time. He was outside the world. It. You are assuming he stopped time. Your face is outside the world. Your face is so Let's yes, see. Thank God for the scotch. It's allowing me to like tolerate you. It's not Gage bad. It's says, yeah. "What's your favorite Super Smash Bros?" Mine is a GameCube one, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. No, I have Melee. Melee. Uh, I'm a Nintendo 64. Unless you mean, yeah, N64. Uh, Zelda: Green of Time or The Witcher 3: Wild Hunt. Those are my. I, I, I'm still debating between the two. Cubert. <laughs> I think you've said Q-Birds in game. <laughs> Every <one>. time. <laughs> Every time. It's so good. Mario Odyssey. Yeah, hey. Oh, okay. But also, this doesn't apply to you because you left that part of your life behind because you have a family. Yeah, I know, What's right? your most hyped game of 2018? Uh, God of War 4. Me April too. 20th. Actually, yeah. April 20th. Because I finished all of those. So, like, that's those like are... my one video game where it's a constant. Or yeah. Uncharted 4. Yeah, Even, I said God of War. Yeah, but you beat all Uncharted 2, so I mean, that's just hypocritical. But he never played Uncharted 3 or 4. They did. No, they did. He stopped at 2. I stopped at 2. 
You guys bought me three. I never played it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Merry Christmas to us. Well. And to all a good night. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I had a business to run. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Far Cry. To pay for your Christmas gifts. Far Cry anyway. 5. Yeah. Actually. I'm looking for, I, I don't really know. I'll wait a month because, you know, just because it's all Ubisoft stuff. But, uh. Spider-Man looks good too. Spider-Man game. I uh, what's Super really, Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. What's really cool That's about uh, Far Cry 5 is I, I got to meet one of the voiceover artists for that game. Oh, wow. Um, she was uh, she was a lady I talked to in Toronto. Oh, okay. Yeah, so she does like she has a company in Toronto, came and heard on, and she was working on Far Cry 5 for the voiceover stuff. That's pretty cool. So, did you super not, nice lady. Did you not include your voice in there and be like, hey, go check out the F4 on YouTube? No, because we weren't doing the F4 at that time. Looking to the future. <laughs> okay, when did you see this then? What do you mean when did I see this? When did you meet her? Uh, it would podcast. have been about okay, May, because we started in June. So I would say July. about May, July, sorry, June, yeah, July, I think we started. Um, no, May, around May is when I had, like, I physically, like, I talked to the lady, like, all that stuff. She was really cool. Cool. Okay, uh, while we're reading these comments, let us know your favorite game of all time, what you're most hyped for, for 2018, but... This is a good question from Seven. You are killing it today. Thank you yeah, for cool. giving us some time. Thank you, for, thank you. Can you guys explain the post credit scene of Ant-Man? The one with Bucky, Falcon, and Cap? It was in the... Civil uh, War. It was in Civil War. It was a scene. It, it was, was setting up Civil War because they found Bucky and Lab and all. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was the exact scene shot for shot of when they got Bucky. They had his hand in that big cramp, like the clamp thing. You mean it's a dialogue? I don't dialogue line for line. He's just saying, talking about his mom. He's like, he knows who his mom is, and then he was explaining. That means Bucky's not like brain brainwashed yeah. anymore. Yeah. yeah, and then he was saying he was talking about the Winter Soldier program. He walked them through the program and how they were training the super soldiers and Which everything like that. Which is the villain or one of the main I don't know plot points for Civil War. It was a plot point for Civil War, and it was our last setting for the epic battle because it was in that facility. So I hope that lets you get that. I have no idea though what else it could be. But yeah, that's that's the end credit scene, I think. It's been a long time since I've seen that man. Yeah, it's been a while. I really like Ant Man. I'm excited for Ant Man and the Wasp. I, it's kind of one of those things where it's like oh, yeah, it's the best thing in the yeah. world, but uh, I think it's good. Oh my god, there's so many movies coming out. Yeah, there's so many movies and there's so many TV shows, dude. I have no like I'm running out of time to watch stuff because I still have a day job and I still have to review yeah. it. Yeah, I don't know. Is there any movie that you guys like honestly don't get crap to see? That's like kind of popular? Solo. Yeah. I'd say Solo. Aquaman. Um, you're not excited for Aquaman? I still am. Zack Snyder left DC and so did I. <laughs> I'll probably still see it, but I will not enjoy it as much. I think you will. Unless it's good. I think you will. I mean, I haven't seen it, so there's no basis for it, but yeah. I think you will. No, man, I loved every Zack Snyder film he put out for DC. Well, that's good. That was good. <laughs> Even the the Snyder Whedon, not is not Snyder. Well, yeah, is I like fifty percent of the movie, <laughs> just like Rotten <laughs> Tomatoes did. <laughs> hey, fifty percent is good. Yeah, because does that mean you're on top? Was... No. Yeah, doesn't mean you're on the top or the bottom. Really, yeah, you're just true. right in the middle. Exactly, that's good. You're safe in the middle. Yeah. Safe times. Safe times. Uh, what else is coming out? Oscars. Any, sorry, to cut you off. Did anyone watch the Oscars? Was it just me? No. Oh. I was doing something. Did you see the whole thing? Yeah. What was it, like eight hours? It is really, It's like four really and a half long. hours or something. I'll give the Oscars two things. There's no review for it. One, uh, yeah, but it's already it's gone. Like There's so many people yeah. that do it. Um, I will say I was happy with some of the winners. I'm happy that Guillermo del Toro won for Shape of Water. I haven't seen Shape of Water, but... He uh, is after you finished. Yeah, Ronnie. he is a guy that like is so passionate about stuff. When you listen to his interviews, you're like, I don't care what you make, I just want you to win an Oscar. Daniel Day Lewis did not win an Oscar, mm -hmm. and it's his first movie he since. He thought he was be going blood. to. I well, yeah. totally because uh, yeah. every time he's gone to bat, he's hit a hundred, right? Yeah. Or, I don't know what the term is. I don't watch baseball. Yeah. Um, betting a thousand. Betting a thousand. That's what it was. Yeah. I will say, is an awful player. Yeah. Five hundred's halfway. But anyway, well, Jimmy Kimmel like, did good. Like, uh, Jimmy Kimmel did good. They didn't actually talk too much politics. They did do talk a lot about equality, which I think yeah. is a much better conversation to have. Yeah. And it wasn't bad. Some of the speeches were longer than they should have been. They need to get rid of the, and no offense to the people that make them, they need to get rid of the smaller and the smaller stuff. 
the one that Kobe Bryant won, he won an Oscar. Yeah, for, for that a short. short. They didn't need to because yeah. there's an actual separate show where they do the smaller. I agree. Stuff, but I think there's the reason why they three... did was because it was Kobe Bryant. And, and maybe next year they don't, they don't do, do, it. do it. No, they do. They do always they do that. Yeah, oh, okay. man. Uh, film shorts, documentary shorts, all don't the cut shorts. That award short though is an Oscar. Anyway, so Jeez. that in itself, I think if they got rid of that, you'd probably shave off 20 minutes if you include yeah. the like, speeches and announcements and stuff. They don't want to do um, a drive-by? Oh, drive-by. Like you just walk, get the award, walk back? No, no, there was some short ones, though. The guy that won the best costume design for Phantom Thread, the one that um, Daniel Day-Lewis didn't win, his was really short. Uh, and who else was it short? I forget. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yeah. Jordan Peele, though, Get Out won for Best Original Screenplay. So no, super no, no. Story. Get out of here. Really? I wish we had, like, an Ari Gold thing where we just say, shut the... <laughs> well, <laughs> on the power of YouTube, Anthony. you can do that. Yeah, you can. By you the way, do have to wrap this up pretty quick, by the way. We're running... Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, we're getting close. So, a couple questions to wrap this up. But, speaking of... Somebody mentioned this, and it's... I agree. There's a lot of, like... This year, particularly, particularly, there was a lot of like movies that I never heard of in the main picture for the Oscar. It's the big, like, big best picture this year. Oh, I heard of them. I just didn't watch a lot of them. They, like, yeah, like but I the mean, weeks coming up. If, if yeah, you're but... if you're into the entertainment industry, obviously you're gonna know. But there was a few that I had not heard of either, and I was like, oh, yeah. like wow, and like like The Shape of Water, I I never heard of. Yeah. Three Billboards. Um, outside of whatever. Sam Rockwell. Yeah. Do you remember 1990 uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I do. The remember, original? The original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that kid that was giving out cigarettes to the kids and like giving them the tour around? That's Sam Rockwell. Oh my goodness. Dude finally won an Oscar. I love that guy. <laughs> He's my, one of my favorites. Also, uh, Seven says, every time someone mentions the Oscars, I get mad thinking about Logan. Yeah, Dude, me too. I agree. Me I too. I knew he was going to win an Oscar. Me neither. I, yeah. But I wish it would have. Because it would have been, uh, I forget which one won that it. Was a great I was watching movie. it. So that was such a good It makes movie. me cry every time. Yeah. I never cry. Y'all gave. That's some guy I talked to in a group chat. Oh, wow. okay. So he's not actually being a dick. He's just no. being a dick to you. Oh, that's fine. I have followers him. It's fine. Yanni the Greek says hello. Hi, What's up, Yanni? Yanni? And goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I love doing that. See you later. This has been our live stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a bit shorter. Yeah. Uh, is it shorter? No, no. I just said that. It felt short. We still don't have a timer going on. about 50 minutes. On. Yeah, so we're going to get close. But, but yeah. what well, time is it? Uh, so 8.55. 8 8 10. So, like, yeah. But if you guys do want, just joined in. And you're like, oh, well, I'm missing the show. No, you're not. Coming out Sunday. YouTube channel. Yeah, because this will be on for 24 hours on the Instagram page. YouTube, it's up on Sundays now. That's going to be our regular, like, releasing stuff. But I will be releasing my Thor Ragnarok uh, reaction. reaction. Let me know what you guys think because it's really tough to do with other genres. And I did it by myself and we're test running some stuff. So, if But if it there works, is a movie you want you want us to react to, yes. please let us know. Oh, Horror yeah. Yeah. movies. Horror movies are good, but yeah. I mean, I'm at up one for point, those. it's just a bunch of <laughs> screaming. And then, uh, oh, yeah. what else we got? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at the F words G. Email us at the F podcast at gmail.com, even though nobody does. Uh, <laughs> you're already on Entertain Facts. And yeah, subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Yeah, almost at 400. We're very close, actually. We're getting nice. close, yeah. Okay. All right.